the markets in the day mixed. My name's D7 here at Rock Trade. It's Tuesday, July 19th, 2016. Dow up. It's up six consecutive days, hitting record highs. NASDAQ down, small caps down a half a percent. Banks financials up just a smidgen. U.S. dollar up a half a percent. We're going to look at that. Crude oil, crude oil dropping a one percent. And mix are on gold and silver. Silver down one percent. VIX slightly lower. But I'm going to start off here on the U.S. dollar. Remember this big bullish pennant we talked about? I said on U.S. dollar, uh, let me go back in time first. I said, here we are. Big symmetric triangle, look for a big breakout. And then we broke down. When that happened, I said, that's a sell. Down, down, down. And then, right, you see, we kept selling, 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 selling. And then, boom, on this day, this was a big day, it closed back within the confines of this. This is called a death hook. I put a buy signal, and then, boom, 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 boom. And we continue going into this. Pennant. And I said, this pennant, watch for a big move, big move. I said, it can go either up or down, but because it built on this leg, expect it to go higher, it hit the ceiling. You can see that right there. It came down, hit the support ceiling. It's right between those two lines. We stay right here. We went down, hit that support level. It's tried to break the support level, came up, closed right at it. Now we're caught between it. It's getting very tight. Now we're slightly above it. Look at this. We're slightly above it. We just closed above it. It broke the, broke the ice. And then boom, there it is, to the upside. So yesterday we broke the ice, and then we followed through. Today I look for more upside movement here on the U.S. dollar. That put pressure on the markets today. That's why most of the indices were in negative territory today is because of the rise of that U.S. dollar and certainly didn't help out uh, precious metals at all either. Let's go to the spider. We are set up to go bullish, guys. So even though we're, we're dropping lower highs, you can see that we're making this little mini me bull pennant. These can get very bullish and quickly. I'm looking for a nice pop to the upside is what I'm expecting. Diamonds, check this out. High base, high base, high base, high base. Boom, goes up, 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 up. Closes at the day's high for the Dow. Dow uh, and NASDAQ just kind of flatlining, going sideways. And then uh, small caps, this is the Russells. We go up, 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 sideways, 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 sideways. Starting to show a little weakness here. And I do have uh, some shorts going. So I have some shorts going on this drop on small caps. However, I do have a stop loss in place. If it starts to pop up, it's going to get me out of this. But I will continue with any downside um, action. And furthermore, because I think that we're building these high bases or these pennants, I do have a big order on the spies, you know, for the spiders, and for the S&P 500. If we do pop to the upside, I think that we're going to get a big move. I think it has a better chance of going higher than lower. But I am prepared for this to go either direction. In both trades that I have going, I will. I do have trailing stops on them, so I'm going to manage those with that. Banks, up, 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 a little bull pullback, down inverted hammer reversal pattern. It's like things are wanting to go bullish. Financials, we at resistance. See this resistance? I said sell, sell, sell. I'm going to get rid of this sell now because we are not no longer dropping. We should have dropped here and continued south here on the financial um, ETF. And it didn't do that. It went down below this area of resistance staying below resistance but it's it's right here act like this is a ball so the ball drops hits the floor comes up hits the ceiling but the ball keeps hitting the ceiling 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 it's all like this thing is wanting to break out to the upside today we close right at resistance like it's wanting to break through i think tomorrow we have a good chance of that happening crude oil continues down it's just in a lot a lot of trouble 
they're saying that they're expecting crude oil prices to get to $50 a barrel. We'll see. Gold down, down, down. I thought we'd be getting a pop right here. All I see is a little bear pullback. That's all that is, a little bear pullback. So I'm kind of staying away from this. This is going up on very, very light volume. Volume is just pitiful right now on gold. Silver, we drop, 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 drop. I said by yesterday, I was a little premature on that. I'm going to keep that here, though, because this thing could still pop here. So I'll, let's keep a good watch on that. Make sure you go to grokatrade.com if you want free trading tutorials. Free trading tutorials right here. Sign up, and they are yours. And there you have it. If you like it, I like it. <laughs>